for creating 2D animation <coughs> texture and shader like this you can use uh, sketch and tune cell shader we have a simple scene here with a plane and some object and a light in a light uh, I want to make the shadow soft to see the shadow and <clears throat> for seeing that shader you have to render it don't forget make high quality to see better for better seeing that then I create a simple material a standard material double click you can give it to the color a sketch and tune cell immediately it will be changed so don't forget to assign the all material to the all <coughs> object at once to see better this is a material sketch and tune cell if you go open an, uh, its settings we have lots of sitting here that you can change them <coughs> i think this is good okay this is an sketch and tune cell based on three things you can you can give that gradient to the shadows you can give this gradient of uh, sketch and tool, uh, cell to the diffuse or a specular or illumination based on the sitting of here for example if you turn on the render turn off turn on if you go to the color and just clear the texture you can see we have an specular and diffuse because of the lighting based on a camera view here if you go to a sketch and tune and sell because the camera is turned on this diffuse is using from the dark area to the light area with this gradient that you can change any color to them nice <coughs> Or you can add another color to that for creating your shader if you turn off the camera we have no longer this shader as you can see we have a diffuse a specular here you can if you if you have a bump on your texture of course turn it off on if you have a light on your scene like i have you can turn on light and then you can see based on the light source it created diffuse that's what you want and of course if we have multiple light you can just see include that light if you keep if you go with include you have to click and drag light in this that it just calculate these lights to cell it's very important because <clears throat> if you turn the light on you have it's calculate if you if you sex it if you change it to the exclude change it to the exclude uh, it's exclude this light only or include this light only if you uh, change it to the exclude and delete all light it's calculate all light in <clears throat> scene and it's very important to uh, choose which light do you want to calculate so because i turn off the lights and it's calculate based on a light but if you don't want that just <clears throat> based on a camera it's calculate a camera as a light and if you rotate it you can see it changed diffuse base diffuse based on the camera if you want <clears throat> you can change it it's very important to choose which uh, specular that you want and if you have a shadow you can calculate the shadow a shadow will be turned on here and based on this gradient <clears throat> Yeah, based on this gradient, you can uh, change a shadow here. Uh, why does it not change? Because the shadow is multiple. Or if you want to use the color, let's use the color of here or light shadow. Multiple. You can change the mode of here based on the hue. You can change them. 
or invert them based on the saturation or value. Why we have a mode here, multiple color shadow? Because in a light, uh, in a shadow, you can change the color of the shadow. For example, the red. Now, because of this, we have a mixing of the shadow here. Based on the color, you can change them. Different mode for mixing the color and the color that you choose here based on this gradient, change the shadow. Or if you don't want, you can bring the shadow to the default. It does not create a shadow as a sketch and tool. And here you can right click and reset to the default. <coughs> If you want to calculate the light and the camera as a diffuse, as a cell, you can see this look at the diffuse of the light. You can turn on illumination and work with this gradient again. If you want, you can use the light, uh, the color of the light because again we can uh, go into the general and change the light of color of light you can use them if you want <clears throat> based on the selection of here the shadow diffuse specular illumination we will turn on and if you turn off the turn on the shadow or you can turn on the specular. We have another reflection, the famous reflection that is specular. You can change the specular based on this gradient here. So the light use of here is very important. <clears throat> Which light do you want to calculate cell for you? And the most important thing here is a diffuse. Work with diffuse and create this cell. And the most important thing is, do you want to <clears throat> use a camera as a light and create a diffuse based on the camera or based on the light on the scene. If you turn on the light, uh, tell which light do you want to use. If you exclude an empty here, it calculate all light to make it diffuse. It's very simple. You can see that, for example, I double the light and another light here, and you can see we have a double. If you don't want that, you can tell the cell shader, okay, I want just include which light, just one light, and just calculate cell based on one light. And that's it, it's very simple shader.